All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. <clears throat> Great, I forgot my vitamin C chewables again. So, uh, I don't know. It's been a couple of days. I feel kind of good, even though, like, I didn't get too good of a sleep last night again because, you know, I'm only getting six hours of sleep. Even though I laid in bed for like 10 hours, I try to force myself to go to sleep. So, that does seem to actually help. You know, getting like a shitty rest is better than just simply not getting rest at all. So I definitely think it has something to do with my diet because, um, because again, I'm losing so much weight now, all my body fat, that I just require less energy. So, uh, so I think what's happening is there's just too much extra calories and my body wants to burn it off. So it chooses. So basically the way it does that is just has me wake up, stay up, uh, <clears throat> stay awake longer because you burn more calories when you're awake than when you're sleeping. So anyway, I did not do any research, uh, so holy shit, wow, Biden's ahead by 17%, these numbers are starting to get kind of insane, <laughs> um, but Scott Adams thinks he, uh, actually, you know what, we're probably going to actually start covering Scott Adams, <clears throat> and, okay, I really need my chewables, this is very annoying. I also forgot to tuck in my uh, blue shorts because like, it's got no elasticity to it. So I gotta tie the knot on it so that it doesn't just drop down. You know, aside from that, it's very comfortable. Yeah, but I accidentally unbuttoned it. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Which privilege is a thing? Hmm. Okay. Oh, election. It's complaint scenarios. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Red pills falling like rain. BET founder Robert Johnson and Mox Crow pulling down outside of canceling TV apology for being white. Well, uh, yeah, well, we're not going to retweet this guy. Uh, Daily Wire, that is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Stark. Okay, so I don't see. I don't know. He just seems to just be doing a more effective version of what Tim Pool likes to do. <coughs> Okay, so the good news is Trump is actually going after the statues. What sucks is there should be more uh, likes and retweets here. Um, well, this could work. Child welfare. I'll call it. Hey, okay. All right, so Trump is actually figuring out that he's got to do something cultural. Okay, so that's good. Uh, Stir, I don't care. How do you think black, uh, black American? That's what I buy. Yeah, my horse got a great new book. Uh huh. All right, he still has to kind of pander a little bit, but that's fine as long as he's doing like the actual shit over here. Uh, Michael Flynn, blah blah blah. blah, blah. <clears throat> Federal court upholds pro hospital price transfer. Patients deserve another price of care before they enter a hospital because of the action. My blah, 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 blah. This actually is kind of big. Rolling game. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right, blah, blah, blah. And here's the complaint about China again. <clears throat> yeah, well, he's talking about the farmer, so good enough. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Yeah, I don't really see anything here. Yeah, so maybe you should fucking do something about it instead of fucking bitching about it. Uh, it's it's so aggravating. See, they're, they're, that's why this shit's going down. Because everyone's just like rampaging and censoring everybody. And they know nothing's going to happen. So so if Trump does manage to um, get reelected, hopefully uh, there will be some serious retaliation. <clears throat> but for now, uh, I'm still not confident Trump's going to win. You know, Scott Adams himself said he's 100% sure that Trump's going to win. But it's going to be close. I, I, it's definitely going to be close. I don't think anything's going to be a landslide. All right.
So Bitcoin searches for this week are 10, so it's even uh, lower than it has been. Uh, of course, crypto is going down. Bitcoin dogs is at 64.4 percent, 24 hour volume 73 billion. Bitcoin's at 92.24, Litecoin's at 42.61. Um, wow, doggy coin, uh, a little under 300 million. So basically, everything's going down. I've also been widening out my Steam and Hive uh, coins, so I can go into Infinite Rex. So <clears throat> it's kind of weird. My proxy says I'm in Australia, but the Google ads somehow are able to figure out that I can read Chinese because they think I'm Chinese. Which uh, kind of interesting, the tracking software and all this shit. Um, so markets are down slightly. Remel's down to oh, actually Remel's still 351. Orders for U.S. big ticket factory goods surge almost 16 <clears throat> percent. Jobless claims are still high. Yeah, because we yeah because the, the jobs are not coming back. Stocks fall as investors high virus cases, jobless claims. Okay. Blah, blah. Uh, scary number, blah, blah, blah. Well, come to think of it, if Trump could figure out a way to give people jobs, that would probably work. But that's about almost impossible. Especially if the Democrats move to do another shutdown just to fuck Trump over, which which obviously works. Like, when the riots are over, <clears throat> when the riots are over, switch over to coronavirus lockdowns, and when people get pissed about getting caged in their houses, and switch back to rioting. Rinse and repeat until Trump gets kicked out of office this year. Well, it's just blah, 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 blah. All right. So aside from the normal, hmm, we might actually be interested in this. The banks are overblown stuff. We'll actually cover that. All right. So aside from that, I don't see anything different. I mean, yeah, I mean, people are getting more scared about coronavirus again. Fear, fear, fear. And then more jobless claims, but it's not really going down that much. And I didn't even look at the markets yesterday at all, because obviously I didn't do any videos. So, because as I said on Tuesday, I was going to take Wednesday or yesterday off. And I did have some Burger King. I was very happy with that. JFC coin is at seven to eight, so very good. Uh, I think we're still on track to do the swap sometime around early July. Uh, 4 4 coin. So, new 4 4 still doing pretty well. It's going to be at 3 4 or 366 Satoshis of a uh, Bitcoin for a while. <clears throat> so, uh, so again, 4 4 should last until at least the end of the, you know, this coming, uh, you know, cryptocurrency bull run. And apparently someone bought a crap ton of 4 4. It actually skyrocketed to 427. 2x2 two two coin is uh, 72 to 73, so yeah, it's doing all right. It's going down slightly in price because finally the market, uh, the market's up, the max supply on 2x2 two two coins starting to increase. I also forgot to record the amount of 2x2 two two coins I made since yesterday, so let me just do that real quick. Uh, oh, wow, that's actually really good. Okay. Oh, so that probably means the inflation must be getting pretty high. Get info. The money supply is 8.9838882 uh, million. Sorry, so it's a slight, so it's 17, it's like 16, a little more than 16,000 below 9 million coins. So that's actually not too bad. All right, very good. Infinite Rick's doing pretty well, 192 to 203. I mean, it really should be around like 150 ish. But it looks like it's getting there because it already start, started off as like, uh, what, 3.3, 3.2 million market. Uh, Market supply, so get info. Three point. <laughs> uh, coronavirus for sneeze. Three point sixty four mil. Uh, six. Uh, Three point sixty six four eight million uh, infinite ricks. So yeah, so that's the supply on this. So it's not too bad. It should still be at least twice what two by two coin is. Actually, more than that. So yeah, this price is about right. But if like, two by two goes down, probably means ricks is going to go down too. Uh, nothing Q here. Oh, thank you to the one new person that subscribed. Uh, pretty things are pretty slow. 
Uh, let's see, what does Google News have for us? It looks like today's going to be a slow news day. Bitcoin options, don't care about that. Uh, for if site slip below, uh, we don't care about that. Uh, open source, Bit, uh, BTC pay server receives 150k grant from Kraken. Uh, BTC Pay is actually open source, huh? That might actually that might be pretty useful later, cause you know, I mean, I don't see why I would have a problem with uh, CoinPayments.net down the line when I use them to you know do the crypto gateway for the games. But yeah, okay, hmm. all right. Well, we're not gonna read it, but that's yeah, pretty good. Uh, first we're going down with Bitcoin. Okay. So I see a lot of talk about Bitcoin options here. All right, so there's literally nothing here. Uh, PayPal's report interest Bitcoin trade comes amid coronavirus introduced blah, 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 blah. All right, Pantera Cap Bitcoin set to begin bull run, but Ethereum certain all coins will outperform Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, if you're looking at it from a pure um, percent on return perspective, yeah, Litecoin's probably going to outperform. Simply because Bitcoin going from $42 to sixty-four grand is a lot more likely to happen than Bitcoin going from ninety-two twenty-four to like a million dollars. Simply because the numbers are just smaller. Right? Yeah, it's just like growth, right? You know, when you're a kid, you grow really fast, but then when you're already old and established, you know, you don't really grow, right? It's not physically. So, uh, yeah. But either way, just any of these major coins... Well, except maybe the Bitcoin Cash and SV stuff, because I consider them scams. But enough people seem to believe in it, so... You know, but as long as you're in the major coins, you'll do fine. Obviously, you know, Litecoin's still my favorite, so... I, and that's not... It hasn't changed yet. Because uh, I remember I was looking at the fee, the withdrawal fees, and it's like, my God, the Bitcoin withdrawal fees are ridiculous, right? As opposed to everything else, like Litecoin, Dogcoin, much cheaper. Yeah. Because I'm actually trying to convert my... Uh, fucking steam and hive into like infinite ricks, so I could mine that shit instead. <clears throat> Alright, Ethereum, blah, blah blah. Let's see. Billionaire Chamath says he bought 1 million bitcoins in 2013. Warrants Bitcoin success will spell global economic catastrophe. Uh, this guy is literally retarded. Um, I have to admit, I kind of like these thumbnails though. Venezuela is going to accept Bitcoin as payment option for passport renewals and extensions. Uh, yes, because the United States uh, banned Venezuela coins, so whatever the hell. I think it was called the petrodollar. So that obviously is not working out. So now Venezuela is just simply going to use, you know, Bitcoin. Because now, now that will be a lot harder for the governments to ban. Because, you know, most of us that use Bitcoin is actually quite, quite legitimate. Uh... God, Firefox is such a bad browser. Here we go. All right. Uh, elusive demographic fund beginning to invest in Bitcoin. Uh, what, Zoomers? Uh, we're going to read that for the Zoomer part. China's blockchain service network to integrate chain link as crypto asset swords 11%. Uh, okay, so it looks like China Coin is going to be using chain link. It's really shitty. That is a very weird looking thumbnail. Uh, all right, I really don't want to read all these articles, but I think this is kind of important, so we'll read that. So first things first, I want to read about the bank shit. Let's see, Trump's down 17% now. Trump's doing some pretty good stuff here. Uh, nothing new with Scott Adams. Uh, bank stocks may rally powerfully once investors realize their concerns are overblown. Oh, great, where are you taking me, Market Watch? All right, hit the X button. It's an opinion, of course. Uh, how long is this article? Uh, God, I don't need all this crap. Banks are taking a beating. Investors are playing a fear. Okay, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, our ideally price of electric ABCAs and independent energy. Okay. Uh, 24 regional and universal stocks. You can see above when it's low. You look at the big four US banks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, they're talking about value, stock valuation, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, so we want to look at the fundamentals. Okay, so the economic A has been created worse than the Fed's severe advice in A. When change directed by the blah. Okay, I'm about to hit the X button on this. 
The big banks have been careful with their loan portfolios in the years following 2008 crisis. Check out the years of thing. Here's the total loans. I don't know what these numbers mean. Over years, banks shot away from leveraged loans. Okay, uh, so I've been affected. Okay, so small and mid-cap borrowers, borrowers have been effectively orphaned by commercial banks. He said, adding that they're private af after private investment funds raise capital and law, there's competition on direct lending funds and degradation standards. So borrowers were calling the shots, he said. These guys will apply to excess bond market. Okay. Oh, uh, I still have a lot of energy. Okay, so basically they're saying that everyone's credit is very strong and banks have been doing a very good job of not loaning out money to risky people. Like one of the reasons why you don't see banks lo loaning to small businesses especially is because they're considered very high risk. So the banks just don't want to deal with it. So that's actually why. So, uh, okay. All right. So blah, blah, blah. And then they have yield curve. Yeah. I don't really want to read. I mean, I'm kind of interested, but I kind of want to just burn through these videos. So, all right. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. Uh, we have, so that's a thumbnail. Uh, we're probably going to start with that. Okay, I want to read the demographics. So what is with this? All right, so China coin. So it looks like it's being called the China's BSN, Blockchain Service Network. Uh, integrate across, or maybe not, but it wants to integrate blockchain rapidly in China infrastructure as well. Blah, blah, integrating chain links, da, 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 da. Okay. One of the main purpose of BSN is to provide interoperability to all DFs. Hmm. Regardless of whether they are permission for chains or uh, public chains. Okay, so for centralized or public, okay. So basically anything that uses blockchain. BSN each DApp should be called. <sighs> okay, that's not burning smell. Or oh, it could be burning popcorn from outside. This collaboration with Chainlink, Arita, da, 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 triggered an 11 percent rise in its thing. Uh, the link has gone up 11 percent, valued at 480 quarter coin market cap. Company has also been working on increasing blockchain operability in the U.S. The earlier this month, they worked with about they joined with about 20 other firms, including Microsoft and IBM, to launch Interwork Alliance, a new nonprofit organization that plans to streamline the complexity and world tokenized by building standards and frameworks. Oh, this is very good. Oh yeah, so the fundamentals are coming. Yeah, so these guys are not actually part of China. It's actually uh, they're all just kind of working together. It's actually very good. It's very very good for all of us. This thing is just making this God, this thumbnail is really bad. All right, so uh, okay, so Bitcoin says okay, so baby boomers are now showing significantly more interest in crypto. The firm now says a twofold increase in client base for each month in 2020, driven by new cryptocurrency investors over the age of 55. Firms average monthly value of Bitcoin transactions also rose 80% with boomers accounting for 77% of the growth since March. You know, I'm willing, I'm actually willing to cons consider that the next, this coming bull run is going to be funded by the boomers. That will actually be fantastic. And then when they jack up the price all the way, I dump all my crypto. Obviously, I'll tell you uh, the day I do it. Uh, and of course, the weeks leading up to my decision. Uh, and then, yeah, it'll just be like a wealth transfer, right? You know, people always say the baby boomers looted the world, right? And you and I paid for it. Well, now we can get it back. Uh, Rose eighty percent of boomers, kind of for service. Okay, baby boomers were born any time between forty six and sixty four. Currently, hold more than half the household wealth in America. Twenty nineteen survey showed that only twenty nine percent of this age group think that crypto will be widely accepted in the next decade. Uh, that's actually pretty large because back then it used to be around like two to five percent. Uh, Murph Financial Day says because we get increasing success in asset class in May, hedge fund Paul Tudor Jones revealed he's buying because of hedge against inflation. You can compare the king coin to gold. Interactive with BD. Uh, well, he'll, he says that now, but he's not going to say the same thing when this shit crashes. Surging activity we see because we get to as well by the Federal Reserve, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, hyperinflation, blah. Yeah, there's always, there's always talk about the, uh, the fucking Federal Reserve printing more and more money, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is very, very good. The more people that just get in on this shit, the better. And since the boomers all hold literally half the wealth in this country, it's like, geez, no wonder we're pissed off at the fucking boomers. Venezuela reportedly accepting Bitcoin as payment option for passport renewals and etc. So Venezuela can now use Bitcoin to buy passports. According to Bitcoin transaction finishes on Twitter by Roddy Martinez. 
blah, blah, blah. The Venice Wine Gardens, I like Bitcoin as a payment option for blah, blah, blah. Okay. While Sami has not officially confirmed Bitcoin as a payment through a press, I'm just from the online portion Bitcoin as an option along with an upcoming tab for payment credit. Da, 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 da. You can still use credit cards in Venezuela. That's that's hilarious. Credit card pairs are fairly excited but appear to be out to part of the type of writing. Uh, yeah, because we got the Maduro versus the CIA uh, figurehead. So, do you either select your payment credit or credit? You will have only eight minutes. Credit. Venezuela did not forget to appear to come and go. How the economic woes and ongoing struggles hyperinflation. Well, then, the fact they're actually an actual socialist country. Bitcoin transaction value management on a peer to peer crypto chain local balance coin here. So, reaching an all time high, blah, 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 blah. And I don't care about coin bets. But actually, this is a pretty good site. I used to use that a lot. Uh, okay. Um, uh, that's too bright. We're just going to use this one. All right. So, not too bad. Um, so, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. More about YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. Uh, just checking up on my miners. Doing very well in Haiti Star. Very good. And um, I don't know. That looks like a guy, but it's a picture of a girl. Who knows? Anyway, um, not for the day. Uh, not, again, not too much happening. I mean, Trump's on his way out. Right, you know, but he is he has figured out that he needs to do more, so that's good. Uh, but he's got a lot of catching up to do. Otherwise, uh, fundamentals can, can you continue to get better. China and other people are laying more uh, found foundational stuff to make cryptocurrency a lot easier, especially with the standard frameworks. That's really important. It would be like me having to figure out how to do my video game programming with like all sorts of different shit. I mean, it's a little hard to explain, but basically if you're not a computer programmer, but basically we have standards for a reason so that everything makes sense, right? Like for example, a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, those are standardized tools throughout the whole world, or at least I guess I assume in Western society. I assume it's the whole world, right? Why? Because we want to make sure that a screwdriver in China or in Europe will work in like America and then the one in America will work in like South America so that we can, you know, build furniture and shit or build buildings. So that's why we have frameworks in the real world. Uh, we need the same thing software wise with blockchain. So uh, these China BSN people or whoever the hell they are, you know, very, very good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, elusive Demo also because it's supposedly coming from China that probably also will kind of lower the risk of war with China because obviously the Republican Party has just gone insane with that shit actually they kind of toned down their rhetoric finally because they realize it just sounds stupid because it is uh, anyway the baby boomer this is a big thing the baby boomers are skyrocketing in interest in crypto so I'm going to make a call right now the baby boomers are going to be driving the next uh, this coming bull run the last bull run was done by amateur investors so imagine what will happen with the baby bo uh, boomers here but what's interesting is baby boomers tend to want to keep their wealth so they might actually not really dump their coins as bad so even if bitcoin goes up to a million and then it crashes to like 33 grand as long as they bought below 33 grand because right now it's worth what 92.24 right no, yeah 92.24 they'll still be like yeah it'll just be like when gold crashes we'll hold on to it so that actually is it turns out to be a really good thing now the meantime trump is making up lost ground uh we'll have to see if uh you know he can he can catch up because there was supposed to be a presidential debate this friday and the university of michigan said no because obviously they're going to uh what should i call it i mean i assume they're just operating on the behalf of the democrat party anyway so they said no 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 we want joe biden to stay away from trump as long as possible and it obviously is working because because all Joe Biden has to do is stay away from Donald Trump, and then he just gets free points. Just look at it. He's now up 17%. This is the highest he's ever been. So uh, Cardi B uh, party is over. Uh, oh, so I guess they're trying to cancel her, which is good. Lusty degeneracy in America. So yeah, so overall, Bitcoin and crypto is going to be very solid. Uh, as for censorship in America and Western society, that remains to be seen. But I'm just going to have to hope that hitting Trump voter that I talked about already, uh, maybe this week and definitely last week, is a lot bigger. Because it's going to need to be really big. Because right? if we 
Because now we subtract 9% from Joe Biden, add 9% to Trump. Now it's 51% Trump to Joe Biden. So now Trump needs 9% extra fucking votes. That's that's a big chunk. That's a lot. That is a lot. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, always remember, Junction Chan, JMC coin, a 404 coin, uh, crypto-wise, everything's doing well. We're still going to wait for the JMC coin swap to happen sometime around early July. Uh, here's our thumbnail. And, uh, yeah, uh, really just uh, nothing new.